like one of us let now chase him from this dimension so that he may not touch the tree of life so that he lives eternally that the time now they were just out listen <laughs> can I say it I know that you are mature you have grown up you know that garden that you'll hear the garden of Eden, they were just out. It was a dimension of life. I had dimension. I don't want to get into details. After they came out from that dimension, the next thing that happened. read hey, hey, before you read I just want everybody to take the offering that you brought now when the mercy comes upon you your life shall be exempted from that judgment your life shall be delivered from that judgment right now you have put your problem before this altar. Now let the mercy come upon your life. Mercy upon your love life. Upon your children. Any judgment that Satan has superimposed upon your life. Right now, you are exempted from that. You are delivered from that. The mercy of God is upon your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Sit down. <laughs> we are going to the next level. And you are going to enjoy it. Now they shall read for us. Just see, follow the reading. Because she will be reading at the same time. I will be talking to you. I will be talking to you. I will be talking to you. Of this that is spirit. Uh -huh. The spirit is going. You see, that the spirit is pushing us so that she runs. It's pushing away from this place. You don't need to find. Hey, you spirit, come back here. Bring that boat here. I say, come back. Praise God. That the deliverance. She got the deliverance. She will never suffer with that problem again. It was a spirit. She's free now. Leave her. She's standing up and she's going back to sit. In that dimension.
There was nothing like that. And the thing, it was after the, they were kicked out of garden. Then things start to happen. Somebody say it was after. Good. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. She said, with the help of the Lord, I have brought forth a man. Later, she gave birth to his brother Abel. Now, Abel kept flocks and Cain worked the soil. Listen. Listen. Realm of the spirit. They were on earth at the same time. They were functioning from the heavenly realm. Now, when they came out of the garden, but they were still connected to the gates. You understand? That way I'm taking you. Is it clear? Praise God. Now, the Bible says, Eve who came out of God Ken is the first man who came follow me carefully and that man was already corrupted he was a man that was Ken, Ken was getting already the nature of sin Adam had eaten the fruit. The corruption entered in his spirit. And Cain came out of Adam as a corrupted son already. Are you getting what I'm saying? He was born with the nature of sin already. Go down. The second born, Abel. <laughs> Not because there is a father, the mother, and the children. And Abel offering mm -hmm. fetters from some of the firstborn of Israel. Brought offering. Who taught to them each and every time you have to bring your offering to Elohim? My friends, it was a culture. Adam was doing that doing. Let me put an emphasis on that. The realm of the spirits, I mean the heaven. The heaven waits with offerings, sacrifice. Carry on. The, the problem now is starting there now. Read. Now, uh, Abel also brought an offering, fed portions from mm -hmm. some of the first bone of his flock. Keep reading. The Lord looked with favor on Abel and his offering. Oh, but on start. Cain, mm -hmm. his offering, he did not look with favor. Mm -hmm. So Cain was, why are you angry? Why is it? Mm -hmm. But if you do not do what is right, mm -hmm. sin is crouching at your door. Ah, listen. Sin waiting for Cain by the door. That sin the Bible is talking about, don't take it as a sin. As a, sin is what in Shona? China. Uh, don't take it as a GV. Uh uh. Uh uh. The sin that God was talking there is the spirit of corruption. Pushed him to kill his brother. When you read the Bible there, the Bible says, Cain called his brother Abel. That Abel, let's go to the field. 
Cain could not kill his brother in the presence of Adam. He had to call his brother to the field. Let's go to the field. When they were going to the field, Cain bath all his brother and he killed him. The first crime was death. He killed him. He killed the brother. Now listen what happened. Hey! Speaking. The first person to die in this world is Abel. And Abel was killed. After he died, his brother, his blood, start to ask for vengeance. Abel became Ngozi. Say Ngozi. Say again Ngozi. <laughs> Are you getting what I'm saying, my friends? A problem got in Adam's family. Because he came into that family. The blood was looking for Abel. The blood was looking for Cain. Go down. Now, you are cursed. What have you done? Uh -huh. Listen, your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground. Uh -huh. Now you are under a curse ah. and driven from the ground, which opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. Oh. Now you are under a curse. The curse that is coming from the earth that opened his mouth to receive the blood of your brother Abel. What is a curse? What is Chituko? That in Shona Chituko, and it is. A curse is a sandment to ruin the life of the victim. Trouble entered in that family. Adam was still alive. If he was still alive, Ken was still alive. But in the family, there was a case. The blood was claiming, the, uh, was claiming vengeance. And because of that, Ken has never been happy. And he was a wanderer. If in your family, everyone is a wanderer, no one is raising up. Problem after problem. People are failing to make it. My friends, I want you to understand that every matter comes from somewhere. Comes from somewhere. Comes from, some, from somewhere. Can we imagine the kind of life the children of Cain were living? The children of Cain were cursed because of what their father did. The blood was asking, claiming for vengeance. Claiming for, 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 for vengeance means the blood was asking the blood of, of Cain. Was saying that Cain must die. Cain must follow me. Most of your problem that you are facing today especially this generation you are fight what is fighting you is not what you started you were born in a family that has a problem already you came from the family that there is the voice of the blood that is claiming vengeance you came from the family that there is a spirit that is scattering the life of everybody, killing people each and every year, blocking lady from getting married, pulling down all the guys, scattering business, people are suffering, people can't make it in life. And the bee 
is dead already. The person might die, but the spirit continues in the family. The spirit continues in the family. When it's after the father, it should be after the children. It should be after everyone. It should move from one generation to another one. That's the reason why wherever you go to look, to look for help, there will, some of you will tell you that in your family there is Ngozi. In your family there is Chihuambo. In your family there is this. In It comes to you as a spiritual husband. It comes to you as a spiritual wife. It's fighting. It's blocking things. But you don't know where it came from. It's like you are fighting a battle that you don't know where it came from. And you don't know how it started in your family. But that spirit is in your family. Evil. boys one of them was a preacher seven of them were born again but they were struggling speaking in tongues they were struggling going to church they were scram struggling when they were intercessors because they did not know how to deal with that matter somebody talk to me I told that man the uncle, I want you to say this and that and that and that and that. You know what that uncle told me? He looked at me and he said, Ah, you man of God, you know what you are doing. And he told all his sons, he said, This man knows what he's doing. You have to thank God for this man. That uncle just took the soul well like this. He spoke. Then he did it like this. Then after that, I prayed for the uncle. When he spoke, he spoke. I'm the one who told him, take the soul. He spoke. The husband don't stay with their wives. Everyone is finishing his life in the parent house. They will get married. They divorce and they go back to the parent house. And we are taking that lightly. There is something in that family. There is something in that family. Men cannot make it. You know when you say a person is a drunker, every day he gets drunk from 7 a.m. up to 10 p.m. Then he goes to bed and sleep. A timer is not just the habit. Some of them is out of stress. A person that nothing good is coming out of his hands. Eventually that person, he won't care about his life. He will start to do anything that he wants. You know, there are people that have tried. And I like the way you, you people, you do say, you do say it. You know what you do say? You, 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 you do normally say I've moved around. Man of God, ha, ah, I've moved around. And when you're a person is telling that I've moved around, for sure. That person has moved around. Kuma Postori has been there. Kumangangas, he has been there. 
then the person is going to even kuma churches i have moved around now man of god this church is my last bus stop if my methods are not sorted out ah it's better i die a person is telling that this is my my last bus stop i've heard all kind of stories praise god somebody talk to me family matter again say family matter again family matters so understand that what is blocking you is not what you have again my family again my family you know I've seen things in the mission at work. I've seen things. By the grace of God, I preach in different countries as a missionary. I've seen a lot of things. When you see a family that all the women are failing to make it, 